this is Stampy, and I don't yawn, don't yawn during my introduction. What are you trying to say, Drippy? <laughs> Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. This is part number, what are we on, is this 77? You can see in the title of the video, you have that luxury. I lose track. We are in the Mazmaya Marshes, and we're going to try and avoid this woman, but it's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, we're, we've just, we've basically just crossed the marshes, and uh, we're done with all of that rubbish, and uh, we're now about to arrive at Nevermore, which is uh, in Nevermore. There's supposed to be a castle, and at the castle is someone called Shadar, also known as the Dark Jinn. And um, yeah, basically, he's been going around, and he's been making everybody brokenhearted, and uh, taking away bits of their heart so they either have no courage or they have no happiness and all sorts of things like that. So generally, he's a bit of a nasty fella. And uh, we're here to, to, to try and sort him out, basically. We're here to, to go and teach him a lesson. And um, there's been quite a lot of uh, dramatic stuff going on in the last few videos. And quite a lot of uh, big uh, revelations, new things that I've uh, been finding out about myself in the game. And so if you have not seen the last few episodes... Uh, I do recommend uh, going back through them just to just to catch up with what's going on, to be honest. And um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm just having a, a bit of a nap. <laughs> I just slept through like that entire battle. There's my friends there going crazy in the background, flailing around like, quick, get them, get them. And I'm just standing in the middle of the battlefield like, oh dear, I got drippy yawning at the beginning. I fell asleep halfway through a battle. Can can someone have some urgency around here? Am I the only person excited to see what is going to happen at the end of this game? And I don't know uh, if this is going to be the end of the game now. This uh, game has been full of twists and turns the entire way through. So who knows? Maybe this is, maybe I'm still just in the, the opening few uh, moments of the game. But <clears throat> things do seem to be uh, hyping up in tension and excitement. And uh, they seem to be heading towards a, a big conclusion. And if you remember, uh, this is where I fought a, uh, an evil foe called Vileheart. Uh, we battled him here and we defeated him. And then he came back again and we defeated him again. So hopefully he's not going to show up for a third time. <laughs> and yeah, we're now, we're now just on the verge of Nevermore. <clears throat> just on the, the other side of this rock bridge is, is him, is, is the, the Dark Jinn. And you know what? I feel confident. I have unlocked the power of Mornstar with the purity of my heart which means I'm stronger than ever. I've learned a new spell. The bond of friendship between me and my friends is something that the Dark Jinn will never know. He will never know true friendship like we have. I'm not alone. I've got all of my, my god, like Kabali and everyone else on my side. And here's the castle. All right, okay, forget that. I'm scared again now. I just saw this castle and I am now once again terrified. Well, there he is. And there's the castle. Um, it's, it is a little bit bigger and menacing than I was expecting, you know? I mean, I wasn't expecting the Disney castle. Like, <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting a Disney princess castle, but... Really? Who would want to live in a place like that? There was a group of people sitting around saying, Right, we need to build a castle. What should it look like? And they decided this. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Right, let's, <laughs> let's save. Saving is a good idea. We get our, our, our HP and our MP, our health points and our magic points up to full. And we'll have a save. So just in case, in the, the rare circumstance, something does go wrong, uh, we'll be able to, to hop back here and, and do it again. But let's do it. I bet Dark Jin's just left the door locked. He just won't let us in. And that'll be the end of the game. And they knocked and knocked and knocked. But he wouldn't answer the end. Thanks for playing. Here are the credits. <laughs> I'm assuming that's not going to happen. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at the, the slow opening of the doors. Why don't you enter my castle, Oliver? <laughs> God, this is absolutely terrifying. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm not doing this by myself, otherwise I would actually be a little bit scared right now. I'm glad you're all sitting there joining me. If not in person, at least in spirit. Oh, there's some familiars. It would have been way too convenient to go right to Dark Jinn. Right, let's avoid him because they're probably going to be very tough. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Run and jump. Run and jump. Run and jump. Oh, I run straight into another one. They're working together. They surrounded me and ambushed me. There's a turkey and a grothian. <laughs> let's go. Oh, no. The, a turnkey. 
And they're holding keys. God, there's no bounds to the imagination of the, the people that come up with names for these. Right, let's use Unleash and let's try... Uh, maybe a, a water move. Let's try Howling Blizzard. Uh, seeing as this is kind of a lava castle. I think I think that little, the Gruffian, I think he might be a, a fire familiar. So uh, this might do a special damage against him. And let's see how strong they were. Because I thought all the, the familiars in the marshes, I thought they were pretty tough. And uh, oh look, oh look, I think they were pretty strong, but they were all really weak to water moves. So I guess if I keep using water moves, because most of these are all like lava people, maybe that's gonna gonna help me out a lot. And I want to get all of this MP if I can, uh, just so um, yeah, I'll be able to use my move again. That went pretty well. The turnkey escaped. I can't be bothered to to capture and serenade any more familiars, just because like I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna use them. Like I'm not gonna worry about the whole catch them all mentality, you know. I'm not gonna worry about getting every single familiar. No, no, I've just gone to a dead end. Ah. What's the point rushing past all those familiars if it just leads to a, a dead end anyway? I, 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 I gotta go this way then. Should have probably just looked at my map and just seen where the big star was. Luckily some of the, the familiars that were here seem to have disappeared. It's telling me to go to, to here? Oh, what's this? There's some sort of big stone here. Oh, it's glowing. What did that do? An ominous orb. Let's press it. Oh, I've made a, I made a staircase appear, I guess. Okay. Do I need to make a, another staircase appear? Anyone else hear some rumbling? There's something whirling into action, sounds like. Okay. And oh god, the, the familiars are back again, right? If I'm quick, go, 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 go around the corner. Right, I think I've got no cho uh, choice but to face this one. Unless I'm, if I'm really sneaky. Nope. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to see me then. He suddenly went, what's behind me? And span around. Right, so we've got a turnkey. I know they're weak against water. There's a Bone Brigadier and a Boogeyman. Let's, let's just try using that same spell and see uh, how well it works against them. Oh no, not Monster. I want to use uh, Unleash and then uh, Howling Blizzard again. I'm kind of curious to see how much damage it does against people that aren't uh, particularly vulnerable against it. I want to see, like, just as, as a general move, how effective it is. And yeah, there, there we go. I did really good against one of them and uh, I did quite a lot of damage to the other ones, actually. And um, there's a, a Bone Brigadier chasing me. If I just run, he's only going after me. Oh, he's sweet. I was going to say, if he's just only going after me, then everyone else can just sort of hit him while he's going after me. Oh, and Fruity doesn't do very well against him, actually. But oh well, I still managed to, to knock his head off. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to... Didn't mean you to lose your head over anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> a bunch of them leveled up, uh, including me. And me is the, the person who I want to, to level up most because... I, at the moment, I pretty much only use me, seem to, as I seem to be very powerful. And I've learned loads of new tricks and stuff, but I can't even be bothered to give them to my familiars anymore. <laughs> I just want to get to that battle and just see if me, Ollie Boy, the chosen one, the saviour of the world, is tough enough to take out Shadar. Everyone else is just going to be... They're just going to be support. They're going to be my bodyguards that are going to be uh, looking out for my back as I try and take them down. Do you reckon that's made another set of stairs then, do you, Ollie Boy? I reckon it has. I reckon there's a familiar over there as well. And do I need to go that way, I guess? Um, yeah, I think if I go that way, maybe it's going to be able to, to open the gate, do you reckon? Um, can I sneak past this person? Oh, I thought I might actually be able to get past him then. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go take him out. Oh, look at the steam, man. That's like my that's like my tinny. Um, I think it was... I think it's... Um, I think it's Storm moves that does good against them. I think Storm does good against robots. I might be wrong, but that's what I think it does. And uh, there's another one of the ones I think that are vulnerable to water, so I can maybe do that after. But let's see if that does a lot of damage against the uh, the steam man. Because I know they have really high defense. They might take a while to die. So, yeah, there we go. I managed to do loads of damage against him. Look at me actually learning the game. Actually learning how all of these stuff work. Uh, so if I go and use... Oh, I keep going to use the wrong move. The Unleashed spell used to be at the very bottom, so I keep going straight to that, and I keep getting it wrong. All right, so let's go and do the water damage, and I reckon this is going to take everyone else. These actually seem to be easier to take out than the ones in the marshes. I thought that these would all be really tough, but they seem to be a little bit tame. Maybe it's trying to lull me into a false sense of security, so when I go up against Jadar, he's just going to totally destroy me. But I'm doing good. Oh, no, maybe it's just because my, my one's stronger now. Maybe... It's just easier because I am I am more powerful now. Maybe the the enemies are slightly stronger, but I'm a lot stronger. I don't know. There's just a there's just a chest here. Oh, I guess I didn't need to go this way. Let me look on. Oh, well, I think I'm just supposed to go up through the up through that gate and then go left. I guess then down all of these little side alleys, there's just little chests and hidden stuff. And sorry if you if I, you think I'm missing loads of stuff out, but 
I, I've told you already. I'm excited. I'm excited to to see what is going to be at the end of this castle. And whoa, look at this room. There's a little hidden chest down here. Well, I say hidden. It's not it's not very hidden, but huh, slightly out of the way. And look at this place. This feels like some sort of like evil Hogwarts. And whoa, look at the camera. God, what you trying? You're trying to make me feel sick. Wait, what are you doing that for? Why, why are you making me go all around like that? Uh, let me go this way, I guess. Like, <laughs> the camera's like always going upside down. Whoa. It's really hard to control. I've literally seen everything upside down now. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you making me control the game like this? I've got to like press the buttons in like the opposite direction. No, I'm, I'm not going to do a battle upside down. Do not make me do a battle upside down. I'll throw up. Oh look, there's all like stairs like on the ceiling and stuff. It's like the end of Labyrinth, isn't it? Right, there's another Graffy in there. They are, oh no, wrong move yet again. They are not good against the um the, the water moves. And what else do we have? Is that like a, a phantom sort of thing? Uh, I'm not sure what does a lot of damage to them. I'm guessing just physical moves don't do um do much damage to those ones. So uh, this should do okay against them. Uh, there we go. I think I got rid of the Graffy almost. Uh, but hopefully Fruity is going to be able to hop out and you can finish off the Gruffian of a few good slashers and then go up against this phantom. I am doing really good. I am doing really good against them. I'm not looking forward to going back through these staircases though. Like, because on your controller you've got to push the analog stick in like the opposite direction to the thing you've got to go. Like everything's all reversed and confusing. Oh no. Shall I just, shall I just tilt my head upside down? Shall I, <laughs> shall I stand on my head on my chair? I would actually consider maybe doing that but I am on a on a swivel chair, so that might not be a good idea. And what did I just get then? Is that something that I can give to someone? Is that... Oh, is this here? Oh, yeah, look, I've got a really good thing for a Little Wink. Let me give that to Little Wink, and then... Who else uses a staff? I think you do. You can have Little Wink's, uh, Little Wink's reject thing. Oh, no, is it not as good as the thing you got? Okay, no worries. Everyone can say what they got. There we go. I got Little Wink a new wand, and let's try... Nope, this way. This can't... Follow my voice to me, Oliver. Keep going, keep running. <laughs> like, none of these staircases are actually upside down. They've just turned the camera upside down. Like, you're not tricking me, game. Right, then I need to go this way. And then if I just keep going across this way... There we go. Then I can <laughs> head up in this direction. You have no idea how hard this is. Unless you've played this yourself and experienced it. You have no idea. Right, so where do I want to go? Um... It could be forward or left, to be honest. Let's go this way. Let's go straight forward. Oh, look, there's a, there's a chest over here. I can go and I can go grab this before carrying on. I think I can hear something. I think I can hear a familiar hopping up and down. I obtained a set of Griffin's teeth. I'm sure that's something I could probably maybe give to someone. Uh, let's go heading in this direction then. Here we go. I'm heading back up some more stairs. Was that a chest over to the left? Is there something here? There we go. There's a chest over here. It's annoying not being able to, to move the, the camera at all to sort of see where I want to go. Oh, there we go, I got a new shield as well. I think I'm just getting loads of new items around here. I really probably should go and explore, like, absolutely everywhere here. Uh, I think I've got a, a new shield, though. Um, oh, is it, is it even better, though? I think it is, a, I think it is a, a little bit better. It's like, it's better general defense, but not as good magic defense. I think I might go for magic defense. I think Little Wink is my only person that uses a, a shield, though, as well. What was that? What was that Griffin's Teeth thing? Can I give that to someone? Griffin's teeth. There we go. Uh, I give I give that to Trunky. That seems to be quite good. And I don't think I can give anything to any of these people. No, I don't have any of any of the the things that they're after. Anyway, let's go carry on. Let's see what else I can get in some of those chests. And did you see that freeze frame? Me, their mid jump. <laughs> is there a chest this side? I know this is another dead end. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go go back down somewhere where I came then, and go and loop back round the the other side. Right. So if I go down here, then I want to go left this way, or is this all? No, that that's all explored down that way. I think. I think I want to go this way. Yeah, this is this is where I haven't explored. Here we go. This is taking me. This is taking me up even higher. And always, there's a doorway there. I can see um another chest around the corner here. I can once again. I can hear something. I can hear something making a weird noise. There's some sort of familiar. Uh, I got a bottle of Nostrum. Is that what that was? And what's that over there? I think I think something. I think there's a familiar bouncing up and down on the other side of this door. I think I can just about hear that. I don't know if you can. Oh, it's a it's a steamy there. Puffing away down there. And okay, so what do we want to go? Do we want to go up against the bony or the steamy? Right, this guy's coming my way, so let's just go up against this fella. And I know I can use the um use that storm move storm move on him and it's uh, pretty effective. There are two of them though, and they are pretty strong, so uh, let's go and pull all our resources together. I'm running out of magic as well, actually. I should have probably drank some some coffee before I came charging in, but I want to use bolt from the blue. 
get my my friendly jellyfish friend to to come and uh, battle on my side. Hopefully, do lots of damage against my steam men. Where are these? Where are these guardians? Are they all just sitting in my pocket? Are they all just living inside of my wands, just waiting for me to, to call them them? Should I send up my tinny then? Go on, let's give my tinny a chance to go up against some of these. My my jester of my troop. Go on, get him. Look at him. All of them his little head bouncing. All of them fighting each other. Ah, he just slapped him. He just slapped his head off. Ah, ah, run! <laughs> oh, that tinny is so ridiculous. <laughs> and seeing them two fighting against each other. I want to do that again. Oh, and I got some sour grapes from that. Right, I, I, can, I think I actually went in the wrong direction. The star seems to be telling me to go that way, but there's got to be something through this doorway here. Right, let me go and have a quick look in... Actually, no, that's, that's not a chest, that's a familiar. Right, let me have a quick look this way, just because there's got to be something good here. There's got to be a chest or something down this corridor. Nope, is it just a just a dead end? Literally nothing here. There was no reason for me to come this way. Okay, well, let's go back around here, and uh, let's go fight this bony guy. Guess we have to face him anyway. Unless we can sneak behind him. He's kind of looking in the, the wrong direction. Look at this. Look at this. Right past him. Right past him. Didn't even know I was here. Didn't even know I was here. I am amazing. Oh, look at that person. Look at that that big floating thing over there. Gonna have to watch out for one of them. Right, what we got? We got two gob for Thakens, is that? And a phantom. And uh, no, no, once again, I didn't use my I didn't do my magic up again. I forgot to do it. Can I use I can use uh, I can do this, which will do physical damage to everyone. Then that's it. Then I can't use any more of my special moves. I think my my arrow of light move is quite good. I could maybe try using that against some people and then hopefully uh, send out Fruity to finish off. Actually, there we go. That, that managed to do uh, pretty well. Then I can use... Oh, no, I can't, I can't use any magic whatsoever now. I've completely run out. So and let's send out Fruity and let's see how much damage he does against these guys. Uh, he's doing okay. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty owned though. I think I'm going to have to to go back to me. And I think I am going to have to have a coffee or something. Uh, if I have a strong coffee, get my get my magic up a little bit. And uh, I think I can now just about use a, another move. <laughs> they all seem to be fighting against each other. If I stay back here and use a, an arrow of light, I should be able to do a decent amount of damage. There we go. It does loads against them actually. And uh, that, that should be okay now. I got full health. I should be able to send up Fruity and let him go and finish them off. And Gogo -Go attacked me then. You see that? Gogo -Go was all confused, so he went after me. We did it. suppose I'd better forgive him because he didn't know what he was doing, but please watch where you're, where you're swinging your wand around, Gogo. -Go. I do not appreciate that. <laughs> right, there we go. Fruity leveled up. Gogo -Go leveled up. Trunky leveled up. Loads of them can metamorph as well, but I don't want to metamorph them now because they go all the way back down to level one. And uh, that would be pretty bad. I should probably give myself some provisions now before I get back into a fight. Uh, so, who wants a cheeseburger? Esther, want a cheeseburger? There you go. Ham and cheese like you ordered. Uh, a couple strong coffees for me. I'm going to need them. I'm going to try and save as many uh, cappuccinos as I can for when I actually go up against the Dark Gin. And can I actually get to this? Am I fighting him? Oh, I did have to end up go fighting him. I thought I was about to get to that trunk there without him, without him even noticing that I'm there. I'd have to use a spring lock to open it though, so it wouldn't really help me. All right, there's a Gruffian down there, so I'm gonna go use my my Blizzard move, the uh, the water one. Like I feel like the Blizzard one should do water damage, and then the the Jellyfish one should do water damage. Is it? I keep getting them them confused. Like surely a Howling Blizzard would be ice or like storm damage, not water. But oh well. I guess, I guess the game knows best. And uh, let's go and try and take out the, the Bone Brigadier, shall we? I don't, I'm not actually very effective against them. I might actually go and try and take out uh, one of the other ones first. Let's go for the... Oh, no, he's the only one left now. I, I'm actually taking these people out quicker than a lot of the people that I was taking out way at the start. I know, like, as the enemies get stronger, I get stronger as well. But I was really expecting, like, a, a much bigger fight here. And look, I've got a cappuccino. I can use that to get my magic way up. Anyway, let's go use Springlock. Uh, on this chest here, and hopefully I might get some some new good armor or something. I got an, an all be gone. I think that takes away all sort of poison or any of the any of the the bad effects on me. I think that's what that does. And what is this thing? This thing looks weird. Let's see if I can take it out. An eldritch empress was that what it was called? Something along those lines. Right. What what move should I do? Should I try a new move? Should I try and do a bit of a variety? Let's go and use my volcanic roar. I don't think it's going to be particularly effective, but I can try it out. It seems quite fitting using a lava move, considering I'm in this this entire castle, which seems to be half made out of lava. <laughs> and let's go and uh, try and take out these fellas, shall we? Well, there we go. I, I think I've got like a, a critical hit or something. I think that's what it means when it comes up saying like nice like that. It's always nice and reassuring. And actually, I shouldn't send Fruity against that Bone Brigadier. Oh no, I'm out. Why? Why? How's Oliver taken down? He was taken down in like one move. 
What was that? That wasn't fair. I had like almost full health and I was just gone. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Lucky all the others were up. I'm gonna have to use I'm gonna have to use a Phoenix Feather here, and I was I've been trying to save them. Right, as soon as he gets up, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and let him use one of his one of his good moves. I'm I'm, I'm using a move. What am I using? Ward? I didn't tell myself to use Ward. Why? I'm just wasting my magic here. Oh, I'm not controlling him yet. That's why. Right, let's go use spell. Let's use uh, no, not that. Uh, unleash and let's use uh, let's use volcanic roar again. Uh, that should be uh, enough to at least finish them all off. Worrying times though. Here I am going. Oh, they think much easier than I expected. Then a guy takes me out in one hit. <laughs> Once again, not appreciated. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's go and uh, finish all of these people off. I'm gonna have to have some more provisions. I love this. Hasn't even. I'm not even taking them all out yet. They're all still up and running. Uh, can I just use like a little move against them? Just a little fireball? Will this be enough to finish them off? I just want to keep some range for them, like before they before they're able to take me out. If I just run, Trunky should be able to to finish him off. Uh, oh no, he's going after me with something. If I go and switch to fruiting, get my defending. There we go. Let's try and get this health orb. He's not going to attack me while he's while he's in serenade mode. I can go get that last health orb. There we go. We did it. That should save me having to use a, a few more provisions. To be to be fair, it's really all about the the magic rather than the health because as long as you got magic, you can use spells to to get your health up. So it doesn't really matter quite as much. I'm gonna have to use something here though. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a, a cappuccino. I've got nine of them. I do have quite a lot, so. I suppose that doesn't matter too much. And do I have anything to get my health up a little bit? What does that do? Uh, restores uh, consciousness and full HP to all allies. Phoenix breath. That's going to be useful. What does a poison be gone? I think I'm going to have to give myself a cheeseburger. I don't want to get my, my health fully up. And almost this way. Do you reckon this is where I'm supposed to go? It's either that way or Carol. I think there might be there might be a bonus chest a little bit further down there. But as I said, I am just sort of eager just to, to get to the get to the big final battle and uh, see how this is all going to conclude. There doesn't seem to be a, a safe way to get up. What happened to, to elevators or escalators or just safe, easy ways to get up? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go use the, the Howling Blizzard uh, once again, just because there's a Gruffian and I know it's going to uh, pretty much almost be able to, to take care of him. And I'm not going to take my chances anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and do things the easy way anymore. I'm just going to make sure that I stay safe, always have full health and I'm not going to get taken out. And there we go. That did really good. If I go use the... Um, oh, what's he using? Oh, he's using Ear Splitter. Well, that did quite a lot of damage, actually, for just a, a random familiar. Anyway, let's go use Arrow of Light on this guy down here. I should be able to finish him off. And oh, no, I'm getting really hurt again. I'm going to I'm gonna use a, a healing spell on myself. Uh, if I just go use a uh, healing touch, I should get my health up a little bit. Swain's not doing too hot either, but uh, I'll be honest, I care less about him than I do about myself. <laughs> let's go get my health up here and... Uh, let's send out Fruity just to, to get the final blow on this person. And get the health orb if you can. Is he going to get it? There we go. I managed to get my health up a little bit as well. And we managed to do it. Uh, so I, I see him uh, to be approaching the, the top of the castle. I have, a, I have a feeling that getting up to the top of here might be where I'm... Oh, pff, maybe not. Maybe Is this just a dead end? Nothing here, really? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go back round down here. Uh, sadly, though, I have just about run out of time in this video. Uh, as always, there'll be a link in, in the uh, the description to this video uh, that will take you to the next part of this Let's Play, uh, which will be online at some point uh, later this week. Uh, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next episode.